So it seems like every year radio manufacturers come out with new power plugs that are confusing. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you or tell you what each one of those cool colors means, where it should go, and also how to do a bypass on this here Sony. So check it out. So let's break this down into a few simple categories. Speaker, main power, and then accessory items. So you basically have three regions of the plug itself. We'll start with the speaker. You're going to have a set of whites, which we like to call one, because that's the driver's front. You're going to have a set of grays, which we call two, because it's a passenger front. A set of greens, which we call three, because it's the driver's rear. And purples, which we call four, which are the passenger rear. Now each one of these is going to have a solid as well as a striped. The stripe is negative on all of them. So you have white and white black. White is positive. White black is negative. And that's going to be true for all eight speaker wires. Now let's move on to the main power. You have a red, you have a black, and you have a yellow. Yellow is battery or memory. This is what actually feeds power to the radio and is the biggest wire in the bunch. This is where the draw for the radio comes from. So this is battery. Then you have ground, which is obviously going to be the opposite of the 12 volt positive. You have the 12 volt negative. It's the same thickness and size and is just as important. And last you have the red wire. The red wire is ignition or accessory. Basically what it means is it's a wire that's going to turn on when the key turns on so that the radio knows to turn on and off when you want it to. Now let's move on to our accessory wires. Those accessory wires consist of four things. Orange white which is illumination. This needs to get connected to a 12 volt source that turns on with the parking lights. Uh, it's not a dimmer wire in the sense that some cars, when you roll a little switch, it changes the output voltage and will dim the radio. The dimming is done internally in the radio. You can select how dim you want it. This just needs to see 12 volts when the lights turn on. Next is the blue-white wire. This is a multifunction wire, and it's got a sticker on the end that says max 0.4 amps of output. The reason why it has that is because this does a lot of things. For one, it'll turn on an amplified or power antenna, which a lot of cars have. It'll also turn on a amplifier in a car if it has a factory amplifier. If your car has a factory amplifier, I strongly suggest not using this if the car also has an amplified antenna turn on. For the amplified antenna turn on, go ahead and connect that to your red accessory wire. Basically, you just need something that's going to turn on and off with the key and not necessarily turn on and off with the radio. Now, the reason why you'd want to do that comes back to this sticker where it says 0.4 amps of output. This is a very small amount of output. This is basically enough to turn on one amplifier. If you're going to do, let's say, a sub-amp, a power antenna, or an amplified antenna, and a factory amplifier, you're going to need a relay which we do have a video up on how to add a relay to this wire. Next is the purple white. Purple white is reverse in. This wire needs to get connected if you're planning on putting in a backup camera. What this gets is a positive 12 volts every time your car goes into reverse. Now depending on the car, if you're using let's say a car that requires a smart harness, this will get connected into the smart harness because smart harnesses generate reverse. If not, a lot of the times you can find this at the reverse lights themselves. Last but not least is the light green parking brake wire. What the parking brake wire does is unlocks a lot of menus and depending on the type of radio you have it may also unlock video motion. Now all it's looking for is a ground. If you connect it to the emergency brake anytime you want to get into those menus you have to pull the emergency brake. Now if you just simply want to not have to deal with that, just ground the green wire and it'll gate that process. You won't have to do any of it. That's entirely up to you. Well, we hope this helps. Uh, we know this is a real common question for you guys. Where does this wire go? What is that wire for? And can I hook these up together? There you go, now you know. 
knowing is half the battle. Go, Joe. There you go. So, thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, you guys have a great night. Please subscribe. Please share. Please thumbs up. Ask a question if you got one, because we will answer it. And you guys have a great night. And we will see you later. Bye. Next time. Bye. 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 Just go. Get out of here. We're seeing you out. <laughs>